quick, very quick video showing you how to set up your Apple TV. So first of all, you have your Apple TV. Don't forget to take this out. Okay, so this comes with it. Just take that out. And then you're gonna see all these ports. Okay, so that's your first thing. And get an HDMI cable. You can get a cheap one or expensive one, doesn't matter. You will not see a difference in definition, whether it's a dollar store cable or a $40 cable, just in case. And also, if um, you need an, a really long cable for HDMI, that's a six meter or something like that, in that case, I would get um, higher end cable, so a little bit more expensive, then it makes a difference. If it's just a meter or two or even three meters, it's okay, you can get a cheap one and you're good to go. Um, anyways, for that, you just need to plug it in here. Okay, so just plug that in there. Next, you're gonna plug in your cable. Okay, this one, your power cable. So just plug that in here. Once you have that plugged in, you're ready to go. And we could go to the next step. That's basically just this right here, your controller. Now there is an app that you can download for your iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch. So you can download that to AirPlay, not AirPlay, sorry, just control your Apple TV. To AirPlay, you're gonna see that option in your iPhone. Um, if you have an Android phone, there is an app so you can control your Apple TV, so don't worry about that. But this is your controller, okay? You have the basics. Um, just scroll around menu, your play button, and here's your battery, okay? Um, for now, it's already active, so you don't need to take out any strips or anything like that. It should be working right away. So next step is just to plug it into your TV. So you're going to plug this into your HDMI port on your TV, and then we're going to get started with the main setup. For the first time that you hook up your Apple TV, you are gonna see an Apple. Then it's gonna load up, it's gonna say English, everything. Now the way you have to choose these things, just with your remote control, just press up and down, okay? Um, just in case on your TV, make sure to press source. Welcome to Apple TV. To use then... voiceover with your Apple TV, press the small button located on the lower right of your remote three times. And then go to HDMI 3, okay? Um, so you can't do voiceover, which uh, I it, it, it's extremely annoying even for iPhone. So I'm not gonna do that right now. We're just gonna choose English. So just to choose that, just press the middle button. Okay. So this middle one here is what you wanna press. Then it's gonna look for your Wi-Fi network. Your Apple TV is based on Wi-Fi. You can also hook it up directly with Ethernet cable to your router. So if you're close to your router, that is better because it's gonna be faster. Okay. But Wi-Fi is good. So right now we're just going to choose our Wi-Fi network. Now let's say your Wi-Fi network is um, hitting or something. In that case, go to other. Press enter on that. So once again, this is enter. Okay. And then put in your network. Once you press submit, it's going to start scanning and connecting up. Okay. Um, you have to submit once you put in your password and everything. It's going to get connected. It will take a little bit of time. It also has to update itself, so it's going to take that much amount of time. It's just the process of updating and uh, just putting your Apple ID and um, activating AirPlay so you can have that option and a bunch of other stuff that you will, you're will you going to see right now. So we're just waiting up for this to format. Once again, you do have to press OK. So just press the Run button right here. And this is our main page for your Apple TV. Now from here you can start using it. Um, you're gonna see a bunch of apps, okay? Um, it's gonna give you this option, for example, to rearrange your apps and everything. We're not gonna do that right now. We're just gonna scroll down just to give you a quick look of what you should see, okay? So these are some things that you have. Netflix, for example, you have to pay a monthly thing. That's not with Apple TV. You can just get that apart. It's, uh, I think it's about around seven bucks a month, which is worth it in my opinion. Um, there's other stuff such as Crackle TV, which is down here. Whoops, sorry guys. Um, anyways, Apple TV. So to go back, if you get into one, just press the menu button on your remote control, and then you go back. Anyways, uh, there's Crackle. Crackle, that is uh, free. It comes with uh, advertisements, so you're gonna see ads there. But it's free. It has a bunch of movies, uh, especially old ones. But it does have a few new ones, and it's fun to watch once in a while. Anyways, uh, let's get back to our main settings. So we're gonna go into settings. So just press enter once again, the run button to press enter. To navigate, it's just these guys right here. You can just press left, right, up, down. And that's about it for this control. 
So what do we have to set up here? Um, basically is your iCloud, okay? If you don't have an Apple ID, just create one for now. It's just better, just in the future, you already have an iCloud account. So we're just gonna sign in there. Um, at this point, I would just suggest getting the app for your um, device. So if you have uh, an Android, you can download an app that's that you can control your Apple TV. You can also, do also download something for your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So I'm just gonna show you how that app looks like. Just quickly right here. I'm gonna show you on my iPad. It's the same app for your iPhone. So this is my iPad, and here's the app. So see that app? Download it. Once you download it, okay, just make sure your home sharing is on your Apple TV, and you can start doing everything. Um, so with that app, it's going to be just a lot faster to type because right now what you're doing is going with your remote control and just selecting letters, pressing enter, 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 until you submit, and then you press submit, right, when you're done. But with this, your app, you can just touch up and down and uh, when you want to actually type something, so let's say I press that, that keyboard popping up and that way you can type faster there. But um, anyways, that's the second thing. So just put in your iCloud ID or create one. You can go to safari.com and create one or just uh, put it in right now. So once you put your Apple ID, it's gonna connect up. If you ha don't have one, like I said, just uh, sign into iTunes or just download and go to um, in Firefox or Google Chrome, just go to Apple ID and create one uh, from the Apple website, okay? Um, I strongly suggest doing that if you have an Apple TV. So it's gonna take some time connecting. Once you have that, then you can just, like I said, download the app and uh, just sign into your Apple ID and you're going to be able to control your Apple TV um, no longer just with the control remote, but a remote on your iPad or iPhone. iPod Touch, same thing with, with Android, okay? Um, okay, our next step. Our next step, um, we're not going to go to iCloud photo settings, not yet. Um, that's just in your iCloud. You don't really need that right now. I'm just gonna go through the main stuff so you guys can get a quick thing on it. So AirPlay, you definitely want to have that on. So make sure this is turned on. So that way you can have it and uh, AirPlay anything to it. Okay, so just press that button right there and just make sure it says on. Um, we're gonna turn that off for now. This should be exactly the way it is, Apple TV name, well, you can put a different Apple TV name. In this case, we're going to put a custom name. Because just in case you guys have a different Apple TV at home, you guys might want to name it differently. Okay, so we do have one downstairs in the living room. This one's upstairs. So we're just going to name it Apple TV 2. And that's it. So that's our Apple TV 2. Um, from there, we're just going to go back. To go back, once again, just press your menu button to go back. And if you're um, with your iPad, iPod Touch, or Android, same thing. Press the menu button on your app and you're going to be good. Um, we're going to go down, computers, just make sure this is on. Just uh, It'll make your life easy once you have it on. And um, once again, your Apple ID. Okay, so create it, make it, input it, put submit, and you're good to go. So just make sure this is on guys and you're ready to go. Um, once again, AirPlay have that on. I know a lot of you want and will use AirPlay, that's why I always suggest having that on. Have all these on, okay? These are just um, fake ones that I created, okay? To do all my videos, I use a fake Apple ID. Um, it's not a personal one, so that's this one right here. You guys can create the same thing, a fake one. You don't have to use it. You can just use it for your Apple TV, just as I do for all my videos, okay? Uh, my personal one's just a different one, and you can do the same thing, okay? You can have as many Apple IDs as you want. I wouldn't suggest having too many, but having one or two is good. Um, okay, something else that you guys want, might want to do is go to General. In General, you're going to see Remotes, okay? So just in case your remote's not pairing up, you want to go here. Now, the only way that you can get here is actually with uh, your iPhone or something like that if your remote's not working um, or just change the batteries. That's the most common reason why your remote's not working. It's just the batteries, okay? From here, you can 
do that. Um, you can also see how the remote app looks like for your iDevice, okay, whether it's an Android or iPad. And uh, to go back on it, let's just go back. Restrictions, you can also set up some restrictions here uh, for renting purposes or anything like that. So if you don't want to rent anything, you can just turn it off from here. Um, same thing for your PG and all that stuff. It's from here, okay? So this is more of a parental control that you want. Uh, for Bluetooth, okay? For Bluetooth keyboards, um, I don't really suggest having those just because you can get the app. So you don't really need your Bluetooth keyboard. If you do have one, this is where you have to set it up. Okay, so just go to Bluetooth, software updates. We're gonna do that in the end of the video because that's your last step. And you want that to have that on um, automatic, okay? So it's on automatic right now. But you also have to just go up here, press enter on it, and do the update right away, okay? It doesn't always automatically do the updates. So that's something that once in a while you have to go into your Apple TV and update it yourself. And uh, just to make sure that everything's working fine. Um, sleep uh, after one hour. You might want to change that to less than one hour or never maybe, but I'm gonna leave it after 15 minutes. So if my Apple TV is just left there, it's gonna go to sleep after 15 minutes. I also suggest that, or just turn it to 30 minutes. That's more of an average for more, most of you. Um, send data to Apple, you can turn that off or on, doesn't matter. Language, there's your region format, accessibility. This is your voiceover and other things like that. I'm gonna, just gonna go into it so you guys can see. So here you go. So this one you have here, closed captions and all that stuff. So we're just gonna go back on that. We don't really need that. Troubleshooting, um, this is nothing really. Uh, I mean, it tells you nothing, so here you go. So if, if you're having problems with your Apple TV, just go into my channel and look up some of my videos to troubleshoot your Apple TV. But uh, if you want to reset or restart it, these are where you wanna go, okay, in your settings, the last two. Then you can reset all your settings or just restore. So the difference is that restore board is gonna download everything again and reset all settings, just uh, erasing all your info and putting them back in, okay? So we're just gonna cancel that. And these are your main things that you have to set up for your Apple TV. Um, like I said, the last thing that you guys want to do is do the update, so we're gonna do that right now. Actually, no, before we do the update, I'm just gonna show you the apps that you have and uh, how to set them up. So for Netflix, for example, most of you bought your Apple TV because of this, um, you do need to pay, so it's gonna tell me something right now. So here we go, $7.99 a month. You can start free or just, uh, if you're already a member, just click on the second option and sign in. So I'm not gonna sign in for now, but it's a good option. I do have a review on Netflix, so if you guys wanna see what's Netflix and how do you handle that, just see that. And here's a bunch of other apps that you can see. Um, these are movies that you can rent out, okay? So if I click on one, such as this one, for example, then I can see the trailer, and here I can buy it or rent it, okay? So here are my options. Now you can do this through your iTunes um, Apple ID account, or you can put a credit card. Um, you can also create an Apple ID without a credit card, so don't worry about that. So if you accidentally press purchase, it will not purchase it because you don't have a credit card linked to your Apple ID, which I don't for this fake one. Um, what else? Your YouTube, that's pretty standard. Anyways, we're gonna do the last step, which is just your update. And that's it for this video. So just make sure all these things are, are pretty much turned on. Go to general, scroll all the way down so you see software update, press software update, just click on it, and then download and install. So it's gonna do that. I suggest always keeping your Apple TV up to date just because it downloads new apps, uh, it fixes some bugs. Not that there are that many with Apple TV, I find it pretty good. If you have a smart TV, this will not affect your smart TV. This will actually, um, I wouldn't say make it better, it's just different, your Apple TV. Okay, you can AirPlay 2 and all that stuff. So you're gonna like that uh, about your Apple TV. Uh, once again, if you don't have Wi-Fi, connect it with Ethernet cable. If you don't have internet, don't get an Apple TV. That's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them here below and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.